So what we're going to do today is we're going to review how to upload your files to the web. In other words, how to make your website live on the internet. Uh, if you've never done this before, um, it's fairly straightforward. And if you have done it before and you have a few questions, I'll just try and go over the whole process just to make sure you're up to speed. So in order to upload files to the web, you need FTP software uh, or an FTP client, it's sometimes called. On the Mac, we usually use Fetch, uh, which is available. You can Google Fetch and download it. And if you, you contact the company and tell them you're a student or an educator, they'll give you a free password so that you don't have to pay it. There is a free 30-day um, trial download, I believe, for everybody. So we're going to use Fetch today. Another uh, FTP client you can use is called Cyberduck, C-Y-B-E-R-D-U-C-K. It's available both for the Mac and PC, and it's a good one. It uh, works very similarly to Fetch. So what we're going to do with Fetch is pretty similar to what you're going to do um, with CyberDuck. Basically, all FTP software works in a similar way. There may be some cosmetic differences in terms of how the dialog boxes look. So let's get started. Uh, when you fire up Fetch, It'll normally open this new connection window. If it doesn't, you can go to File, New Connection, and you'll get to the same place. Now you'll see that there's three blank areas where you need to fill in information. This is true with all FTP software. These names may actually change. They may not be identical, but they're the same three pieces of information, and they'll be in the same order. So uh, beyond this, there are sometimes some optional things that you could fill in, but fundamentally you need these three pieces of information. Now, where do you get them? Typically, you're going to get them from your hosting service. They'll provide you with that, um, usually in the form of an email when you set up the account. In this case, um, I am going to show you the information because we're hosting things for the class on my website. So I've um, given you the FTP information you're going to need. So it's in the, um, if you go to Blackboard Web Links, you'll find this information, just what you're looking at. And the password will be readable. I've blurred it here so that everybody on the internet doesn't upload files. So host name. Let's fill that in. All of this information is case sensitive. It's got to be exactly as you see it here. So host name is, and this is actually the name of the server. Sometimes it'll be a number, an IP address. In this case, it's a name. Username is either your username or, in this case, the username that I've assigned to this account that you're going to use in class. And then the password is going to be your password, or in this case, the password that I've created for this account. And as I said, it's case sensitive. All the punctuation has got to be exactly as shown. Um, and it looks like we should be good to go. So you click Connect. We should see here, and good, we do. Um, this is how I've got things set up on the server. So what I've done is I've created for each person in the class a folder that's labeled with their last name. So when you're ready to go, what I want you to do is before you do anything else, go to your folder, double click it, and open it. Do not do anything until you've opened your folder so that you're in your own folder. Uh, I'm going to pretend to be Eddie today because I have some files of his that I can upload. So I'm going to open it. You can see I'm in the Fleischer folder, so I'm um, acting as Eddie is right now, as if I were Eddie. And so what we want to do is take the files locally that we've set up for the um, website and put them on the server. So you can actually use this button called Put to put things on the server. And when you click on it, then you go through and you find your files and you click put and it uploads them. I find it to be a little bit more, um, I feel more confident to drag and drop because I can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to open up the folder called Fleischer. So this is Eddie's midterm project. There's an index, a style sheet, and a folder with images in it. And this is what we upload. 
we don't upload the enclosing folder. We upload everything that's in it. So I'm going to use the shift click technique, hold down the shift key, select them all, and just drag and drop over here into the folder via fetch. And you can see what's happening as it's transferring the data. And then uh, when it stops, complete, you're done. I'm going to close this. There we have it. It's been uploaded. And now to see if it actually is going to work, uh, what we would need to do is go to the browser and take a look. Now, again, in the Blackboard web link section, I've created a direct link to this. Um, right now I'm just going to type it in and, and navigate to it um, myself, but you'll find it easier probably just go to web links and click on the link that says class folder. Uh, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of memory here. Come on. All right. Firefox doesn't want to cooperate. Hmm. All right, Firefox. Come on, do your thing. Um, I'm starting up after I had shut down my computer, and I think what's happening is Firefox is now updating, which is why we're getting this long, annoying delay. There we go. I want to go to. All right. Again, I don't know why Firefox is behaving so badly. Um, so you're going to find it much quicker because you're just going to click on that link in Blackboard and you'll go right to it. Eventually, if Firefox cooperates, I'm going to be able to type this in and get there also the slow way. Okay, let me go there. There we are. Okay, now hopefully by the time you see this, I've had some time to make this look prettier. This is pretty nasty, I realize, but it should still work. So what you're going to do is go to your name and click on it. And I'm pretending to be Eddie, so I'm going to click on it. And lo and behold, there's my website live on the internet. So that's it that's how it works. Now, if when you upload your files you find that some of your links aren't working that had been working before or some of your images aren't appearing that had been appearing before, that's almost always going to be a problem with path names. And the most likely thing, and what I want you to check first before you do anything else, is be sure that everything is spelled in your path names exactly as the file names are shown. So for example, in images you'll notice all these JPEGs are in lowercase PNG and lowercase. Um, if the actual files or if your path name has it in uppercase it's not going to work. Um, and the problem is that it's going to work locally, so when you test it on your home computer, it's going to work fine. When you upload it, it's not. So double check spelling, capitalization, make sure that what you have here in the file, as for the file name itself, exactly matches what it looks like um, in the document. So I'm going to take the index file and open it up and just point out what I'm talking about. And as I said, the deceptive thing is that these uh, misspelled or miscapitalized files will work okay when you're looking at them locally. They do not work when you're actually uploading to the web. Okay, so here's here's cities. Page, which actually, which actually looks fine. fine. Does, it doesn't have any problems. Any problems. But, but for example, it says, it says, it says image, image source, source and a path path here. here. If, 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 if you had you had whatever reason, reason spelled, spelled, spelled this, this uppercase J JPEG, and the actual file, file we can see, see it's got a lowercase JPEG. That link is probably going to be fine when you test it locally, but when you upload it, it's not going to work. So everything's got to match spelling, capitalization.
than the whole nine yards. It needs to match there, it needs to work there in any links that you have. So if you find that links don't work that had been working before or images don't show up that had been showing up before, uh, that's probably what's going on. Either that or sometimes you inadvertently forget to upload the file. So when you do your drag and drop or you make some changes in the site, remember you have to re-drag those files and update them on the server every time you make a change locally. So that's it. That's uh, about all it takes to upload. As I said, we were using Fetch today. You can do the same thing with CyberDuck or any other FTP, FTP client software. All right, so with this information, you are now able to go out and go live on the Internet.